getting all into it. It's it's pretty cool. I, I've seen a lot of articles on what how far you can push you know parts. So that's cool. Uh, but yes, I don't think OC is going away anytime soon, and I don't think it'll ever go away. It might though die off in popularity just because how fast these hardwares are getting, and I don't think the softwares are gonna. Uh, catch up to it, or they're they're gonna lag behind. Uh, yeah, that's my personal belief. Uh, speaking of Sparker, uh, Sparker three six six, he uh, just uh, PM'd me. He informed me that uh, Nvidia chipsets have yet to support Phenoms. Phenoms, I believe I'm saying that right. Sorry, AMD fans, if I'm not. Uh, Phenoms are uh, AMD's new line of CPUs. Uh, does this mean Intel is going to be more scalable or are AMD going to come out with NVIDIA chipset support? I would imagine they would because NVIDIA chipsets are the most popular, uh, I believe. Yeah, so AMD, where are you at? You know, I'm all for the underdog, so please, we need some competition. Intel's just kicking your butt and I don't care what you say Intel is. Uh, other news. The dude, aka Volphone, uh, he's sick. Uh, so hopefully you get better, man. Uh, I know it sucks. I've never had the flu, uh, but I hear it's bad. Speaking of, if you guys, have you guys got your flu shots? You need to. Says the man that doesn't have a flu shot ever. Uh, moving on, my projects. Yes. Okay. So. You guys probably heard about Computer Tree. Uh, I mentioned that similar to Angel Tree, we're trying to get it approved uh, from expert staff and the higher ups of expert. Uh, all I can say right now is, is it looks like it's being pushed through. Uh, well, I'll just say it's being pushed through. So I'm thinking within a week we will hear something more. Uh, I will definitely post up a more extensive post in the threads. Excuse me. Uh, that will go through what all it entails, how it works, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And we might be getting some help from expert. I won't say how just yet, but really exciting stuff. I hope everyone reads this post because uh, I think it could really help out a lot of people. Um, plus, you know. It's the holidays, and it's kind of nice. You get that warm, fuzzy feeling about helping someone. Uh, next section, that's the new corner, as I like to call it. Or, not as I like to call it. That's what I'm calling it. Uh, and that is just tips, etc., etc. Uh, so my helpful tip for this episode is the Windows key shortcuts. That's for you Windows users out there. You know that window key uh, on your keyboard between the control and alt on the left side? That's your super key or window key. If you select that with another key, uh, usually you can do a shortcut, meaning you can do something that would normally take you a number of clicks to do. So just a few to name off the top of my head, window key R pulls up the run prompt and you can type in, you know, CMD for the command prompt or from the run prompt you can type in notepad. Uh, and that will bring up Notepad real quick and easy. Uh, window key E pulls up Explorer so you can explore your file system. Uh, window key D shows your desktop so it minimizes all your windows. And this is great if you have uh, icons that are in a particular icon on your desktop that you need to get to real quick. Uh, and then the L key, uh, Window L and uh, the L key locks your desktop or that particular session so when you um, get away from your computer especially at, in, at work I use it a little lot um, and it's just real quick and easy way instead of clicking, clicking start and log off. Uh, just some helpful tips I'll also post up an article on all the different shortcut keys I was able to find uh, for the window key because uh, there's a bunch of others so definitely check that out if you haven't heard of the window key shortcuts. Uh, I also have a little joke uh, that I posted it up before, and the joke is uh, that I love to do with my coworkers. It's uh, they've yet to figure out how to fix it, so it's pretty funny. Uh, if you do Control Shift Print Screen on a, I believe any Windows-based operating system, 
Uh, it goes into visually impaired mode after you hit the OK prompt. And uh, it turns everything into 42 font, you know, and neon green, neon purple uh, colors, and just big and annoying <laughs> is what they would say. Well, they'd say something else, but I'm trying to keep this post PG-13 if possible. Uh, and of course, if you want to uh, do this to your friends, by all means do it. Uh, and then if uh, you decide to give them back their desktop to the proper colors, uh, do uh, Alt, Shift, Print Screen again, and I believe it's OK or Cancel, one of the two options, and it'll revert back to uh, the regular view. Uh, for you noobs out there, also, I got uh, just some terminology uh, that you might hear, and that is PSU and UPS. Uh, PSU is power supply unit, and that is actually what powers your computer. Uh, it's that power core that plugs into this little brick that you install in your case. So definitely need that. I also highly recommend getting a uh, really good power supply because you can't really skimp out on that. Um, since it powers all your devices, if that thing goes and it's poorly designed, it can take out all of your components. So I always say invest in your power supply if you ever need to invest in anything that's you know solid and it will go through uh, the years as you upgrade. Uh, the other one is uh, that I mentioned UPS. UPS stands for Uninterruptible Power Supply. Yes, I know I butcher the English language, and yes, I'm not a very good speaker, but, well, get over it. Um, so UPS, oh, what is that? That's, that's essentially a uh, power strip-like device, uh, just like a surge protector, but it has a battery built inside of it. And whenever you're, you have a power outage, your lights go out, you lose all power, whether it's, you know, for a second or for a couple of minutes, even up to an hour, I'd say, uh, it kicks over to battery automatically, so it, you never lose that power connection. Uh, this is great for when you know you're gaming um, or you're doing something that you don't want to ever lose power, <laughs> especially like a server. Um, I actually use mine for my server and for all my network equipment. I put all my router on there, I put my NAS, I put my server, I put my even my modem. <clears throat> Some people forget to put their modem. Uh, without your modem, you can't get into the internet. So, uh, And of course you can uh, configure your UPS to uh, either send commands to your computer to gracefully shut it down, uh, which is pretty cool. Or you can email yourself when it kicks over to battery, uh, when you have a power failure which is nice if you know you're traveling around and you know you can have it send it to your inbox and you're like hey look lost my power great and then you can set it to where it sends you another one when it gets back power again or when it's uh... the battery's about to die because uh, most I, I say most uh... UPS's can you can actually replace the battery uh... which is a must uh, in my opinion because the batteries can die over time like anything else um, oh, uh, I will post up my UPS that I use, uh, as well as my power supply unit. I'll uh, try to throw out recommendations, things that I personally use and I'll vouch for. Uh, and if you buy it and it fails, you can by all means PM me and tell me how much a fool I am. Uh, I will take it. Um, and I think that's it. Yeah, it's all in my notes. So, if you have any announcements of your own that you like to uh, tell the world through my little uh, series, uh, please PM me. Or if you have any questions you'd like me to answer uh, live, or semi-live, I guess, um, please, uh, or comments, please, uh, send me a PM. I'm always open. If you guys don't know me, um, I, I will never turn down a PM nor a question. And uh, I don't typically get angry very often, so uh, I have patience, although girlfriend won't agree with that. But anyways, that's for another time and another drink. Um, that's all. That's for episode one, The Source.